Hi traders, uh, welcome to this video. Today I want to talk about how I get back into the markets after a correction. Um, in 2020 we saw a very, um, yeah, a very strong correction in the stock market and I was really surprised by the strong correction because it came out of nowhere. Yes, we had some uh, signs of an extended market before, but um, the correction was very strong and uh, very um, quick. And as I wrote in one of my newsletter issues, um, I had a very bullish um, bias. So um, I had really problems uh, to adjust um, my mindset and also my trading style to the new conditions. And this is something um, which is, um, yeah, which I'm working on and um, where I already um, find uh, some improvements in my trading strategy. And I hope that next time I will be better prepared for that. Um, the thing is, um, I don't uh, lost any money, but I gave back too much profits uh, to the market uh, when the correction started. And now we are in a different um, situation. Uh, the correction um, or the stock market um, showed some signs of a bottoming process. And um, this is the time when I start to get back into the markets. In this video, I don't want to um, describe um, how I see a sign, uh, how I see signs of a bottoming process in the market. In this video, I want to show you how I um, get back into trading positions or into um, stock positions. The thing is, if I if I um, want to build up exposure in the markets, I do it on several attempts. So I always expect that I need two or three attempts to um, build successful new trading positions. I had um, one attempt, I think one week ago, where I um, already um, bought two trading positions and sold them immediately because the market um, started another down leg. And this is now the second attempt um, where I bought three positions and I want to um, go with you to um, all of them. The first one I bought was Vertex, um, Vertex Pharmaceuticals. Why Vertex? Because it was one of the uh, strongest positions fundamentally and technically and uh, it was one of the first stocks which broke out to a new all-time high. You can see that here on the um, on the 6th April. Um, I bought it one day later. I bought it on the 7th April and um, yeah, I sold it immediately on the same day. Um, the thing is, if I get back into the market, I do two things. The first thing is I bought really, really small positions. Normally a core position um, in my portfolio is around 15% of my trading capital. And if I try to get back into the market, like with this vertex position, I only buy around three to 5% uh, positions. So that means three to 5% of my capital is or was in that uh, vertex position. In vertex, I had around uh, 5%. So I bought a 5% position here and um, yeah, it was a gap up situation, so I bought intraday um, very close to the um, to the close from the sixth April, and I start to sold um, the position uh, when it um, yeah fell around three percent below my buy point. So my buy point was around yeah around two hundred um, fifty seven. And um, yeah, it fall back around here to this breakout level, so 3%. And I sold immediately, um, I think, um, one, uh, one, one um, third of the position. So I, 
I sold uh, around 2% um, of my um, trading capital and around uh, one third of the position. So why, uh, why did I do that? Well, the, I always expect that if I buy a position, it uh, will run into my direction. So in my preferred direction. And um, I expected here, of course, that the vertex position will go up and it was not the case. And if you are in a market situation like now, where you have a very volatile market and you are not 100% sure about the market direction, you want to be very, very defensive and you want to be an aggressive loss taker. And in that case, I limit my losses not to around 7%. So I don't set a stop loss around 7% as I normally do. Um, no, I um, place a stop around 3%. So I want to be, I want to make sure that my losses are very, very, very small um, when I get back into the market. So that means I start um, uh, or I sold uh, one third of the position here around the breakout level and I sold the rest um, um, at the close of the day. So around here and I'm, I was complete out of the position. So my loss was very, very small. And why was my loss very small? Because of two things. The first thing was I had very, I had a very small position, only 5% of my capital in that trade. And the second thing, I sold immediately after, um, after um, the price dropped 3% um, below my entry price. And um, I sold um, the rest of the position at the close. And if you see, um, I got in around 207 here at 257. So I had around yeah 4% um, loss here uh, and I was out of the position completely. And you can see today, Vertex is uh, falling below this breakout level. So that was the Vertex position. The second one I bought was um, Grocery Outlet uh, Holding. Um, why grocer, uh, why um, Grocery Outlet um, Holding? Um, I also highlighted this stock in my free newsletter um, because it was another very strong stock. Um, it shows a very uh, good growth and EPS. And um, yeah, it's a new IPO in the discount retail business. So very attractive. If you look back to other um, stocks like Oli Bargain, Outlet, uh, they were very big winners in the past and they are growing um, here. Geo or Grocery Outlet is growing very fast and it offers an attractive entry around this uh, 30, uh, 36 uh, level. I was a little bit disappointed about the volume. The volume was not very good at the day. And um, yeah, I bought um, around um, 5% um, of GO. So that means I put 5% of my trading capital into the GO position. And um, I did the same here. I sold um, around one third of the position um, when it broke below the a red line here, so below the breakout line. And um, yeah, yesterday it it, um, it was um, very likely that the close of the day was a negative close. So the, the um, um, yesterday the stock lost around 1.3% and uh, the volume was higher as the day before. So a very negative um, situation and that's uh, in that situation I want to be defensive so I sold around one third now you can see today the stock is up but the volume is not very good but if now the stock continues to rise in the next days I have no problem to buy back and to add to my position so that I reach maybe 10 or 15 percent in that position but again in that current market situation, I want to be an aggressive loss taker. I want to be very defensive and I want to test the market. You know, it's not about making money quick. 
It's more about to get a feeling for the market, to have very little exposure in the market and to see if, uh, if I'm right with my stock selection and with my entries. And that's what's, what's all about at the moment. And if the market continues to, to rise and if they go into my direction and if, if I see also improvement into my stock, um, into my stocks, and then I will add to that position so that I reach my core position of around 15%. So I hold a very, very small position of um, grocery outlet. My stop loss is, uh, is very close, so below that candle, so that I limit my losses aggressively if now the market uh, will get volatile, volatile again and break down. The third position I bought um, was LVGO. Um, Livongo. Livongo uh, was uh, one of my favorites. Um, I also highlighted that in the free newsletter. And um, that was a very or a much better situation yesterday. You know, um, the stock gapped up um, a little bit. Um, then um, I bought the position. Um, I started to buy the position here around the uh, 32 level. So uh, very close above this uh, red line and the volume was very good it was very strong and um, I also um, added to the position so I bought um, a little bit more um, 2% above my buy point and so I'm currently have around 10% of my capital in Livongo and um, I also put a stop loss very, very close below that candle so that I'm also out of the position when it um, yeah, breaks um, the breakout line here. And um, I monitor that position very, very closely. You can see it's currently um, negative, so uh, it's around minus 1.2%. And, um, you know, I'm currently i have currently so so my average entry price is around here 3290 so if now the position starts to drop 3% or yeah 3 to 4% i would definitely sell and i maybe not the whole position but a third or half position so that i limit my losses again I can only repeat that and repeat that and emphasize this. It's not about making money at the moment. It's more about testing the market. It's, a, it's more about getting a feeling for the market and if my trading is working in the current market or um, not. Maybe just a few words about um, why three positions. Well, um, if I, if I um, get back into the market, I almost buy uh, two or three positions to, to get a better feeling for that. I don't buy five or ten or whatever, or um, I just want to have very little exposure on the market and try um, try to get um, into the best stocks I have on my watch list. And if, if only one position, for example, offers an, an attractive entry, then I will have only one position. If two, then maybe I buy a second, and if three, then I maybe buy a third position, but not more. You don't want to have four or five or six positions um, at the beginning, and you really, really want to uh, limit your losses. Because, as I said in the beginning, you maybe need two or three or maybe four attempts until you catch a really good winning stocks in the market and you are in sync again with the market and um, you don't want to lose much capital in that situation you know if if i try to get back in the market i maybe lost or lose around a 0 0.2 um, or 0 0.5 percent of my trading capital if if all my positions are stopped out you know, you don't want to lose one, two, three, or five percent of your trading capital. That's definitely too much. You really want to limit your losses in that situation, because if you need four attempts to get back into the market, 
or to get back in, in winning stocks, um, you don't want to have a big drawdown. You want to really limit your losses. And maybe if you, uh, if you lose, um, don't know, 2% of your trading capital in four attempts to get back into the market, that's acceptable, you know, but you don't want to lose um, yeah, five or 10% or something. Then you are fighting against a drawdown in that situation. Okay, um, I hope I uh, give you some insights um, into my trading. Normally, I don't give so um, so deep insights into my trading, and um, but I know that a lot of you have problems to get back into the market and to get back into positions, and that's why I, I want to uh, give you more uh, details how I am doing that. Um, yeah. You can follow me on, on Twitter if you like. You can follow me on YouTube and you can subscribe to my free newsletter. I would send it out every Sunday and um, I also highlight um, um, four stocks in my um, free newsletter so that you get a better feeling of what I am looking at and I also give trading tips and a market analysis.